so sorry my phone was turned off the switch so i'm gonna put it at this point between two notch you see that two notch we're gonna put it over there so we tight it it screw here first and activate the check and uh, we are bringing it here between two U tab and lift it with the jack so it's over here and lift the car okay so we put the jack here but before that we're gonna lose it out completely lift off we're gonna lose it out the lugs using this milwaukee 1800 pound foot pound torque heavy duty wrench uh, drill impact wrench and open it so you see how it is easy i have camera on my one hand and uh, so we do second one same way Third one, lose it out. Fourth one, lose it out. See, the wheel is coming off. So I'm gonna raise it now. So we raise up little bit because sometimes it jacks moves and the whole car fall down. It damages your car. So we just lift a little bit from ground about a couple of inch and we are gonna put a stand underneath. So we put a jack next to it, stand for safety in case my jacks fall down, it hanging on a stand. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the wheels first and I will show you after that. See, I also put my wheel after removing under the car because if it fall down we have double safety. Now we are doing this is the left side brake. So we're gonna turn around, we're gonna turn the steering on the left side completely. So it easy so now we like bringing out uh, bring out that uh, bring out the caliper direction of the caliper so if you want to change just pad brake pads you don't have to open anything just open the bottom bolt and flip it out so i will show you how to do it uh, okay so we use number 14 socket number 14 just uh, put it here in a bottom and open it So I did little tight and lose it. So now it's easily come out. So what is the next? Nothing else. Just uh, just uh, lose this one little bit. If you do not lose this, it's okay. You don't need to take it out completely. 
so you have caliper off so so use it any cali uh, lead screwdriver and lift it up caliper this is like very old so might be little hard but see you don't need to open anything just open like this and it's 10 minute job so this is the pad you're gonna take it out okay so my pad looks good but the reason I am I am uh, taking out because my rotor is very bad so see this is the pad come off and you put an, you have to put uh, that old pad, pad over here and press it with the C-clamp and press this cylinder all the way in okay and put it back tight the bolt you done now we will do later on after replacing the rotor but uh, right now just for the brake pads only here okay the guys outside they rip you up the brake pads comes 18 to 50 dollars it depends on what type you want it to buy it the guys take it like a couple of hundred dollar for that okay so i need to re uh, remove the rotors so for rim rotors i have to take it out complete the whole caliper system so i'm gonna remove the tap bolt and then that caliper mounting bracket and then i will put it back as long as you are not touching these pipes you don't need to bleed you don't need to bleed a, a brake fluid but if you open these pipes brake fluid pipes then you have to bleed the uh, oil brake fluid okay so we are not doing that one right now okay so let me take it out caliper and then we will put a new water so to remove the to remove that uh, caliper and caliper mount we are removing this tap bolt same way like we remove the bottom one so we remove this the top one I'm putting these two bolt in a side for now so for now I, I hang up the caliper see I hang up with the spring with the wire at the spring so it not fall down and my, this cable like this pipe hydraulic fuel line it not scratched out okay so now I'm gonna remove these two bolt one this and one on top to remove the caliper mount and that need at 1116 size uh, socket and let's remove it first you can use number 17 wrench too so I lose it and uh, take it out that caliper so this two going in a side and this caliper mount is off and now this is off you see the how it looks now you have to take it out this uh, plate don't use force nothing just you have to put a small screw on it and tight it so it will come up otherwise you have to hit it very hard here and it will damage your hub I got the bolt and let's see how to remove uh, how to remove that one just put it bolt uh, here and uh, tight it tight bolt until the rotor comes off
in my case thread thread broke so it not coming out so in my case the router thread broke completely so i'm going to hit it with the hammer and take it out okay let's remove first and then i will you just uh, you just with the hammer hit it like this from inside to out <laughs> 